Hello, beautiful souls. This is Elena Maria Fouché with Mindfulness Made Easy. I want to talk a little bit about motivation and maintaining motivation, especially in the beginning of a mindfulness practice. Why is motivation important? Well, if you're creating something new, if you're creating a new mindfulness practice for yourself, you're trying, you are putting mindfulness into your life on a daily basis so that you can get the benefits of mindfulness. You're creating that habit. You're creating the new habit of practicing mindfulness every day. And your motivation to do that is what's going to make you successful or not. So why are you practicing mindfulness? What's your motivation? Maybe you want to be more focused in your life or at work. Maybe you want to have better relationships within your personal life or at work. Maybe you want to be less stressed at work or in your personal life. These are the, the most common issues that I find with my clients here in Hong Kong. Sometimes it's also you want to sleep better. There's a number of things. It's personal, so what is it for you? Think about that. And I think what becomes really important is really looking at that thing and figuring out, as you're practicing, is it getting better? Is your practice actually helping you? So you want to be really clear about what's the issue. And then how will you be able to tell it's getting better over time? So you want to look at different ways you can measure. If it's focus, how can you measure that you're more focused? What can you do? If it's stress, how can you measure that you're less stressed over time? And if it's something like relationships with family or coworkers, how can you measure that? How can you notice if it's better over time? Some of these things are pretty subjective. Uh, there are some things that you can do. For instance, you can give yourself a number from 1 to 10 for, wow, how well did I deal with the situation, with this particular stressful situation? Maybe you know that there's a particular situation that triggers your stress at work every time it happens. Every time someone gives you a deadline, you totally freak out. You get super stressed. So you can give yourself a number from 1 to 10. How stressed am I right now that someone just gave me this deadline? Give yourself a number. 10 is super stressed. 0 is not stressed at all. Ah, I'm a 7. Keep practicing. And then the next time someone gives you a deadline, OK, how stressed am I? 1 to 10. OK, I'm a 6 now. Oh, OK. Something like that. So you can start to see and measure for yourself. Is it getting better? Of course, subjective measurements are also really helpful. And one of the nice things about mindfulness is that it will make you more aware of yourself and your situations in general. Why is that important? Well, if what I'm trying to do is be less stressed at work, one of the things that's going to happen is I'm going to notice how stressed I am at work in general. I'm just going to be more aware of that and more conscious of it just by the nature of mindfulness itself. So it will actually be easier for you to notice that your stress level is going down or not as you practice over time. If it's not going down, then either pick something besides mindfulness, because mindfulness isn't helping you, or figure out some ways to make your practice work better for you. I have lots of ideas for that. You can check out other videos, or of course, send me an email. Hope that helps. Enjoy tracking your practice and really noticing, is mindfulness helping you over time by getting clear about what your motivations are and whether it's actually improving or not. Take care. Have a wonderful day, and see you next time.